So I'm going to be harvesting some of our rogue mustard greens today and we will cook them and see how they taste. I've actually never eaten mustard greens before, so this should be interesting. These plants grew from seed heads um, from plants I planted last summer, I guess. And you can see that they have gotten huge. Um, apparently dumped several seeds over here. So I get a second chance to give them a try. Now you're probably saying, why would I plant them and then not eat them? Uh, that's a good question. Um, but here we're going to go ahead and harvest the website I found online said to give it a nice twist and pick so that's what I'm doing and these things are big and there's lots of them so I'm gonna put them in my little gathering basket here so I'm gonna go ahead and trim out the stems because the website I found online said to not use the stems in older leaves um, you can see over here we have a bunch of the leaves ready. I'm going to go ahead and wash those in just a minute and then we're going to try and cook them. I've got my pieces of mustard green now in the pan and I added um, about two tablespoons of oil and a tablespoon of minced garlic and I'm going to go ahead and let that cook down. Now of course to make it Whole Foods plant-based, you would omit the oil and possibly use either water or broth instead. So here is the cooked greens. They're pretty much done and we'll give them a try in just a bit. So here's the cooked greens and we'll see what they taste like. Not too bad. A little bit peppery. Said it would be. I mean, there are mustard greens. So, first try of mustard greens. Probably need a little bit of salt, but not too bad. So, I would say that the mustard greens were a mixed success. Um, I don't like them as well as I like spinach, um, but they're not too bad. Um, but based on the principle that we have a small garden and we're only going to grow what we really like to eat all the time, we probably won't allot any space to mustard greens.